It's week 10 of the football season. I'm here with Coach Jason Thorne. Coach, you guys got a big win this week, win your fourth in a row. How important is, is that heading into the final three games of the season? Well, I think, I think it's very important. I think just from a confidence standpoint, we're getting better. And, and uh, you know, from a practice standpoint, we're getting better. And, and uh, uh, so, so it's always important to go on the road, especially to be able to go on the road against Missouri Valley. It's a good football team, great football program. And, and uh, so to be able to go on the road and do that, it really, really helps us moving forward. Now you guys got the 41-7 to win over Missouri Valley, as we talked about. What did you guys do offensively to kind of get things going early and didn't really stop? Um, well, we, we uh, um, uh, really, we, we, we went up top and we were able to hit something up top early in the game. And uh, honestly, uh, you know, we had a great punt return and a, and a great defensive stand and then a great punt return kind of set up a uh, field goal to get it going. And then uh, defensively, we got another stop and a punt and then we were able to hit up top. So. Um, you know, right, right from the beginning, we were able to uh, get a couple quick scores, and so that was that was very uh, instrumental in, in gaining the momentum and then continuing on and, and keeping the momentum throughout the game. Now, Marco had probably one of his best games through the air this last weekend. Did you guys expect that going into the game, or was that something you saw early that you kind of went that way? Well, the one thing about Marco is is uh, you know his preparation. Uh, his preparation has been very good, and, and you know, kind of throughout, you know, it's difficult anytime you're switching offenses. Uh, you know, it's very difficult for the quarterback too, for for all the language and, and the routes and the splits and everything's kind of different to him. So, as he as he plays in it longer, he's become more familiar with it, and and uh, you know, honestly, he you know, Marco just took advantage of things that that they were giving, and so uh, yeah, he did a fabulous job of executing. Uh, the plays that we had put in for that week and, and just did a nice job. And um, then, as we talked about this week, you had to Fayette, Missouri. Uh, you guys were there last year, got a 62-7 to win. What needs to happen this weekend to kind of keep the winning streak going? Well, I, I, I think, you know, the same thing. We have to come in, we have to establish the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, they, they, they have some size up front, so it's that that's always going to be an obstacle. and, and uh, this CMU team is a very good CMU team and, and kind of looking at them. So, uh, you know, it's important for us, again, to come in and establish a line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, with this team and kind of looking at them, I love their skill on offense. Um, and, uh, you know, their offensive line uh, is, is big and physical and can get after you a little bit. So, um, really what we have to do is come in again, play our game, and, uh, you know, and uh, – run the football, I think that's something that we always want to do, it's something that we always need to do, and, and uh, be able to take advantage of certain situations in the passing game when they're presented. And then this is your final road game of the regular season. How important is it coming down the final stretch here to have your final two games inside of Liston Stadium? Uh, very important. You know, that, that's something that we, that we talked about from the very first meeting of, of the year is uh, to be able to, to come back home in, in November and play our last two. and. and uh, so that's very important, and, and really with, within our league, it's you know each week is so hard, you know, and, and so uh, just the comfort level of being you know around your fans and around your family uh, is always important, and and uh, uh, but you know really I haven't even really even thought about the next couple of weeks, as you know it's it's this week and and uh, it's CMU and and uh, you know and going into Fayette and playing well. Well, thank you, Coach, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. Be sure to tune in at 1 o'clock on Saturday as the Wildcats take on Central Methodist. You can follow the live stream or the live stats at bakerwildcats.com, or you can listen to Alex Dingman at bakerradio.org.